Alright, hey and hello guys. Uh, welcome back, as you guys can see, and as promised, here is the second video for the second day, and my video quality on the face cam is actually rather good today. Uh, on top of that, I've got some really nice uh, sort of video content here for Soldier76. I actually had a very good game with him uh, this time around, which anytime you actually play Soldier76, uh, as long as you play him the right way, uh, you can bet you're going to have a halfway decent game here. So I'll go ahead and break everything down about how it is I'm playing him and all of that stuff uh, as we go along. So, uh, first things first, uh, what you can do with Soldier 76. Uh, Soldier 76 in the Overwatch game is kind of a, a jack of all trades, so to speak. You can play him defensively. Uh, as well as offensively as well. Not to get you just have to know, you know, the ebbs and flows of the game. So you have to know when to push, you have to know when to fall back, and you have to know when to play footsies. Uh, in which case, there is a couple parts here where I do go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Bastion, and I will show you guys, and, you know, well, of course, you guys will see what I did there, and I'll kind of explain it once we get there. But the thing you have to understand with Soldier 76 is he's got a dash as well, and he has a heal as well. Uh, on top of that, you can, you know, do a lot of damage with that assault rifle there, and then you can finish that off with a grenade launcher, depending on how much health they have and how tanky they are. Now, as you can see here, uh, right now they're actually coming out of the gate, uh, and a big mistake that I think a lot of new players play, and then I do it as well uh, sometimes also, is they will stand right up there against that gate, and then, you know, they just sort of get mowed down. But uh, what you have to keep in mind is if you sit a little bit of ways, and you can sort of get yourself to a point, oh yeah, and then I get taken out by Hanzo there, which that was actually a pretty nice shot. Nope, I think that was actually a widow. Good on you to them. But what you can do, and Soldier 76 is really good about no this, you can actually line up your shot so that you've got a little bit of cover there. That way you can ping them a little bit and then you've, you know, they're not going to drop or you're going to get hit pretty heavily in return. You can just drop back behind that wall, you know, wait for them to shoot and then you can pop back out there, peg them a couple more times and then hop back. And then that usually works really, really well for me whenever I play a Soldier 76. Now, uh, coming around this corner on that one, there is a Bastion there uh, and I actually missed that rocket launcher. However, there was a kill there so I was able to heal up. Uh, as you guys can see here on this bus, uh, you do have to make sure that you're checking both sides of that bus. Uh, because you really don't want to just stay on one side, have them come around and hit you. So what I was doing with Soldier 76 here is I was checking both of that, uh, and then, you know, those turret things show up, so of course we have to deal with those. Uh, also, you don't want to do what I did there and just run into a room like that, because a lot of times they'll actually set those first up on the other side of the door too. So once you destroy the first two, you run in, and then the other one starts taking Corners is the name of the game for Soldier 76. Uh, it's not just a way to play for Reaper, so this is actually a very, very uh, good thing to do with Soldier 76 because you have that cover there, and you can fall back to heal if you need to. So it's kind of one of these things where you just have to learn the ebbs and flows of the game, and you have to play Soldier 76 to his strengths, uh, which that is something that you really have to learn about a lot of these games like this, is you have to learn the strengths and weaknesses of each class. Uh, and then once you learn that, and you learn how to properly play characters to their strengths, you'll do a lot of that. Of that. Uh, Roadhog is a major shutdown, because he can just tank so much damage from you. So you don't really want to take him on by yourself, unless you've got a major... Uh, and as you guys can see, there was a Widowmaker sitting up there, but... Instead of running right at her, I just went ahead and then flanked her from the side, and then I was able to take her down. So with Widowmaker, it's sort of one of things where you always want to get off to her side, get to her blind spot, and then you can just take her down from her blind spot. Uh, so that actually works out uh, well. Uh, now, I still have to figure out how to make everything work on the other uh, maps. However, on this map here, uh, it seems we've got it pretty much covered. Uh, on the defensive side. I still have to work out a good strategy for everything. Heroes never die. And uh, as I might have already stated it, but I may have also said it in a different video as well, you want to stay alive in these games, okay? The longer that you can stay alive in these 
these games, the more damage you can do and the more help you can you know, actually help your team out with. So that is a good thing. You know, you don't want to just rush in there and start trying to do as much damage as possible. Um, if you have a character that's tanky for that sort of thing, then yeah, I can understand it. But uh, you also have to uh, remember the more help you can do towards the team, which means the longer you can stay alive, the more you can be on the objective. That's really what you want to kind of do. As you can see here, I flank back around to see if there's anybody there. Uh, then we actually end up picking up that McCree who pops out, and then I pop the visor because I figured there'd be more than one guy that came out there, and then that way I'm not, you know, spamming a bunch of shots in this Seconds remaining. You know, as you can see here, uh, with Soldier 76, I'm falling back whenever I need to, and I'm healing. You have to remember that Soldier 76 has that heal there, so you have to use it. Uh, and that's one thing that makes Soldier 76 such an important character, because that doesn't just heal you, it heals your team. So if you use it often, you can stay in the battle longer, and on top of that, you can keep your team going. Uh, so it's kind of one of those important things that you really have to realize. Play of the game. And of course, you know, we didn't really make it on the board this time around. However, I'm really not too worried about it uh, because we actually did a pretty good, pretty good match there. Uh, and we actually leveled up too, so I'm officially level 12. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, and this time around, we're actually on the attack. And you'll see how the, uh, the strategy that I'm talking about will come into effect here in attack as well. Because I'm still doing the same thing with Soldier 76. I'm still falling back when I need to. I'm still healing when I need to. However, I'm just using, you know, the terrain to my advantage, getting on top of them, aiming down, and then I'm just being a little bit more pushy with them. Hmm. Yeah, now here at the start of it, the thought of it was is the entire team was actually focused over there on the wall to the right, which is the main entrance. So I figured if anybody was defending that, they're going to be aiming there. Uh, so I actually go over to the door on the side, uh, and the thought of it is is while everybody's fighting over there, I can actually scooch across the, the entrance part here or where everybody's going to be set up, I can get behind them, and then just start pushing from there. And for the most part, it does pretty, pretty well. Um, however, the only thing uh, that I don't like about this map here is in that one part with the two buses, that is a major, major choke point. So you really have to find some way of getting around that or pushing through it. Uh, luckily for us, I don't believe they really had a really strong Reinhardt on their team. Uh, that way they couldn't just sort of block us off there and then do that. So that was some of the luck in ours. As you guys can see here, I didn't waste a whole lot of time in that first spot. Uh, I immediately got my ass into some cover, and then I started working from the cover. Uh, here, as you guys can see, I'm hopping out, I'm doing some damage, and then I'm hopping back in. Uh, so I'm really not standing out there, getting blown away, and then, you know, I have to spend all the time, you know, respawning, and then jumping back into the battle. Uh, so that's a real good thing to do with some of these characters here. Uh, that guy actually runs right past me, so then I spin this whole little part trying to chase his butt down. Uh, which he eventually gets taken out, so that was good. Thank you, Junkrat. 
Uh, from here, I notice there's that, uh, that spot right over there, so I hop over there. Uh, and the cool thing about that is, is you can hop out, do some damage, and then hop back. Uh, then they really can't hit you unless they have some way of getting up there, or they have some kind of flyer like Farah that can jump up there as well. So, I kind of stake it out here a little bit, not really camping. Um, but I'm just doing enough to sort of poke them, push them back a little bit, and then I, you know, move right on. Uh, for the most part, that does pretty, pretty well. And, uh, right there, you, there is actually the main point. Uh, so I probably shouldn't have focused so much on that Hanzo, uh, is, you know, covering that main spot there. And then from here, you know, we just sort of keep up the pressure on this one here, and we eventually do get it. Um, th I won't lie, this is actually one of my better games, playing with Soldier 76 and playing with And luckily, and then I actually died there, so, uh, that does happen. However, but as you guys can see, we had more than one person on the point. And that's a good point in that, pun intended, is that when you're taking a point on a game like this, it's good to have teammates on that. You don't really want to lone wolf it when it comes to taking that point. So it's a good idea to try and take it when you have the team members there, and you are able to Heroes that. never die. The point is mine, and you can't stop it. And then here, I fall back, but I notice there's that Bastion up there on that point. Um, so what I do is, the thing about Bastion is you can do a lot of damage if you get to there, like that, for example. Uh, however, we get back up there, and I think that's when I actually go and play footsie with him. And what you want to do is you want to keep him busy enough that he doesn't have time to heal. Shoot him a couple times, jump behind cover, pop back out, and you're pretty much playing whack-a-mole with him until you can drop him. If you give him too much time, they're just going to pop that repair heal, and then, you know, you're right back to where you started. So you want to keep the pressure on him, but you don't want to stand out in the open while he mows you down. Yeah, for here, for example. He's sitting there aiming at me, but I pop out, do some damage, jump back, pop out, do some damage. It keeps the pressure on him to the point that he can't heal, but at the same time, it mitigates the amount of damage that he can do. So that is one good thing to remember about dealing with Bastion while he's in his turn. And here's another thing that I learned. Uh, when you're doing one of these escort games like this, it's a good idea to use that escort for cover. Um, because when it's coming around like that, if you just stand right on top of it, you are going to get away from it. Uh, so it's a good idea to stay towards the right-hand side of it for this first part here, because it's going to go around the cover, and then everybody's going to be shooting at the cart, and they're not going to be able to hit you. And then once it actually gets around that corner, it's a good idea to be behind it, pop out, do some damage, pop back behind it. For two reasons. One, that is mobile cover, so you can keep the objective going while you're doing damage. On top of that, it is cover, which means they're not going to be able to hit you through that. Uh, so as long as you use that cover to your advantage, you can pretty much stay alive for a big portion of the game, because you can keep them from hitting you, you can keep it going, and then you can throw it as well. So that is one thing I try and keep in mind when I play games. And Soldier 76 is really, really good uh, if you're trying to be objective based because he has that heal as well, so you have the heal on top of the mobile cover. Uh, and as you guys can see there, the Widowmaker was up there. I would have had a hard time hitting her without it, so I popped uh, Soldier 76 ultimate and just auto aimed her down. Um, once you can get a beat on her and you can get a steady stream of damage, Widowmaker's not that big of a threat. The thing is, is you just have to get a beat on her before she gets a beat on her. And then as you guys can see here, I'm just playing the objective here, and I'm staying behind it, picking off people, uh, whenever the, uh, 
the opportunity arises and just staying on that cover. Um, the thing you have to understand is I believe Heroes Soldier 76 was based more from the, sh the uh, shooter games, you know, the Call of Duties, the Battlefield, stuff like that. So you have to play him as a cover shooter. Restock, cover, shoot from cover. Uh, once you've got that down and you actually play Soldier 76 to that note, you're not going to have a problem. He's a pretty straightforward character, and as you guys can see here, we pretty much get it uh, pretty easily from this point. So we had a good team, we had good teamwork, and then we also played to our strengths. Uh, and I think that is something that really works uh, in the end. So, uh, well, with everything being said, I believe... Yeah, here it goes. Um, I believe we actually won the game, and we did get on the board, however, we didn't actually get the player of the game there. Uh, go figure. But, hey, we had a good gameplay with this. So, uh, with everything uh, being said, thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you check out all the links in the description, as you know. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, stay safe out there, guys. The, the cold weather is here to stay, so make sure you bundle up. Uh, and, you know, as always, guys, thank you for tuning in. And... Wait for it. Wait for it. We're almost there. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And I will leave that light on.